In today's session, we're going to look at creating our own shapes within HeavyM. So I've got a project open here. And um, if you look across to the blue icons here, we can draw. So I'm just going to click there. I'm going to pull down and pull across. And that creates a shape for me. Just click that to get rid of that. And that's a shape. Click the draw icon again. And I go down and across. And I can create interlocking shapes. So as, as long as I'm moving my arrow key and I still have that selected. Oops, excuse me there, just pull that in a little bit bigger so I can see that. And as soon as I have that selected, you'll notice that I can create really interesting geometric shapes. So I'm moving this up and down like this and watch what happens. It cuts out the negative space. So get rid of that. And I can alter these and I can play with these. So I've got all of these wonderful um, anchor points that can create really interesting shapes. So these are standalone. So if you'll notice, this is face 24 and face 23. I'm just going to draw another one here. So pull that down. And what it does is it connects the points up. So no matter how intricate I want to draw it, it connects those up. And I can just play with these if I'm not quite happy with it there. Great. And just move that across there. So that's another interesting shape I've created. So when would you use this? I hear you asking. Well, you'd actually use this if you were going to create a bespoke shape. So maybe you had an object or maybe you had something that um, isn't quite square or rectangular, etc. So I'm just going to pull that across here and create that into a split screen so you can see it. And there we go. I've added some animation and that's my bespoke shape. And you'll notice it looks really good really quickly. So guys, have a go, play with your own shapes, see what you can come up with. Please do send them me because obviously I would love to see them. And um, I will see you in the next session.